Hello again, welcome back to Django Beat Channel. My name is Stuart Gauntlet. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Gypsy Bolero Rhythm and how to get started on it if you're not familiar with it. Um, now, a, gyps, a, a bolero rhythm is a Latin rhythm and pretty much all Latin rhythms have two halves, they have certain characteristics and they two halves, a stronger half and a weaker half. Now, this isn't any different, um, they, it, it has both halves. So, we're going to have to go through it in a certain way. And this is a, a quick way of showing you the mechanics of how to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my metronome at 80 BPM. And I'm going to imagine the, that it's on the 2 and the 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we're going to have an 8 beat pattern. Now, over that, initially, to get to Bolero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play La Pompe. But it's a long, short type. It's a particular type of La Pompe. And um, this is how it sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, now, to make it into a bolero, what I'm going to ask you to do is to leave out the first mute. What do I mean? Well, you've got mute, 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 okay? Just, first of all, leave out the first one and leave the chord ringing. So you're going to get... And the second thing I want you to do is miss out the third strike. They are all downstrokes, just like La Pompe, but miss out the third strike, as well as missing out the first mute. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Do it with a metronome. Two, two. Four, two, four, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we've got a basic bolero rhythm, but there's one more thing you need to add in, which um, is pretty important. This is what most people will do. They add in a triplet at the beginning. So once you're comfortable with this rhythm that I've just shown you, I would really practice that and get, get that so that it's, you're not thinking about it. I've given you ways to think this through, um, but you've got to get where you don't think. You, know, you just feel that sound and, 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 and emulate it. Now, uh, the final thing we're going to add is a little triplet, like I said. So it's... Can you see also I'm emphasizing the bass strings at certain points in the treble, mainly to do with the stronger beats, the ones, the threes, the, the, the odd number beats, which I would also try to do. Um, but for now, I would just try to stick with... And then later try to add in the triplet. Stay aware of the two 
Look for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, that will help you keep tight, nice tight rhythms. Try and emphasize them, even with the triplet there. Okay, um, let me know how you think about that. That's a bit more fiddly, isn't it, that rhythm? So uh, that's all for me for now anyway. And I'll speak to you next time about another rhythm, another technique, or something else. Don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe and also click on a couple of ads. You don't have to watch them all, but it's a way of donating without it affecting your personal bank balance. All right, bye for now anyway. Bye.